Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Truly K. And now, guys, it's almost 12 midnight here in the Philippines, and we are preparing to attend to celebrate the life of my grandmother who died last week. Not with COVID, but a different disease, guys. So, it's the mother of my father. So, it's my great uh, grandmother, Mrs. Imelda. Born in Yaligaray. So, join us guys. It's almost midnight. And it's live telecast from New York. Actually, she's already cremated a few days ago. And we will have our memorial service for her. Okay guys, so join us. morning as well. My name is Kenneth, or John, that's what Nane calls me, and I am the youngest of Nane's 12 children. Before I begin talking about Nane, I would like to, on behalf of our family, thank all of you for joining us today as we celebrate the life of our mother. Our mother, Imelda. Thank you to those who prayed for Nanai when her health was rapidly deteriorating. Thank you to those who were able 
to visit her at home, at the hospital, or even at the hospital. medical appointment, she pick up her medications and other necessities. And Man and Nelly, our fifth sibling, still working full-time, took care of Nanay in between her work, cooked for her, and even fed her when Nanay could no longer fit herself. She too was there when Nanay's heart beat for the last time. My gratitude, of course, extends to Manong Butch, our brother-in-law, for making a nice room for Nana in your house. To my nephews, Matthew and Jeffrey, for helping out in many ways. To all of you, thank you. It has been nine days since Nana left us. I have done some contemplating kind of about her life and I came up with four lists of five things. And I will share with you how Nane influenced my life, what things I hope I picked up from her, what I will miss the most about her, and how I think I will remember her as. So first of my lists, how did Nane influence my life? So I'm not sure if Nane knew that being an influencer is now a recognized profession, She was an influencer to me, and here is my list of evidence. Number one is my love for music. Nana was my first piano teacher, and I learned how to sing by singing hymns at home and by watching her teach chorus and graduation songs at her school. Number two, my love for cooking and baking. So Nana was a great cook and baker. It's been mentioned again and again. And I know most of you will agree her lumpia and her pancit molo are the best. Number three, my love for certain kind of foods and fresh lumpia and palabok, just to name a couple. My father used to accuse her of strongly influencing my taste as a child. She really did. Number four, my inclination for math. Nanay's major was math. She taught from the basics to algebra, calculus, statistics. I am not a math whiz, but I do enjoy solving math problems as well. And number five on my list is my love for teaching. I enjoy having students and resident doctors in my clinic. So maybe I got some of Nana's genes for teaching. So the next list I have tells you what things or traits do I hope I also picked up from her. Number one on my list, her sewing style. So, if we can't finish it, you jump in, okay? Again, I would like to thank all who were able to join us here at Amelda's Church and all those in the Philippines who are with us. 
thank you for taking time out of this busy season to celebrate a life well lived for the Lord. Let's close our service in prayer. Father, these moments are hard for us to navigate. And Father, I know that the scriptures tell us that we don't grieve as those who have no hope, but Father, we still grieve. So I'm asking you to heal heavy hearts. I'm asking you to fill us with that peace that goes beyond our human circumstance, because it is your Holy Spirit that gives it to us. I'm asking you to bring to each and every person who knew Imelda a memory Something that brings a smile to their face. Thank you for eternity and a home going. Thank you that this is not the vibe. We pray these things in the mighty, the matchless.